want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God. With one touch, ministries, we're touching hearts and changing. Uh, welcome to uh, One Touch Ministries, a uh, second our home gathering where our apostolic uh, leaders is uh, Pastor Shannon Young and Prophetess Nadija Young. And I'm your campus minister here, uh, Minister Henry Jackson. So um, yeah, we're going to have a read of uh, uh, the scripture about Miss Barbara Jackson. All right, I'm gonna I'm coming from John 10. I'm gonna read a couple of verses from there. And the topic of what I'm gonna read from is uh, knowing the shepherd voice. To be able to follow God, we have to know his voice. Hear his words. Better, better I say unto you, he that enter not by the door into the shepherd's fold, but climb up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. But he that enter in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opens, and to the sheep sheep hear his voice, and he call down and he call his own sheep by name and lead them out. And when he put it forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follows him. For they that know it, his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, because, because I mean follow, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of the stranger. This parable speak speak speaking Jesus unto them. But they understood not what things they were, which he spoke unto them. Did Jesus say unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep, and all that even come before me, and thieves and robbers, but the sheep does not hear them. I am the door by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and go in and out and find the pastor. The Lord have been word and breath for the good education of our soul, body, and soul, and mind. Okay, so now we're going to go on to prayer. Say, uh, dear Heavenly Father, yeah, we thank you for the, for for our church today, and we thank you and we're grateful that you have given us a, 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 a place to stay, food to eat. Yeah, you get, yeah, you kept us warm. You kept us in in our right minds, and you still continue blessing us uh, through, uh, for throughout this season. Heavenly Father, yeah, I also pray and I thank you for keeping us. Uh, in, in, in good health, keeping us in our right mind, and for, you know, uh, uh, allowing that, that we are safe and sound. In the wonderful name of Jesus, let's just say amen. Amen. Yeah, we're going to do uh, praise and worship. 
Uh, I'm going to uh, sing my song. Uh, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Amen. Mm. So, amen. Yeah, we're going to uh, go to our uh, testimony part of the service. Uh, it's like, now, I just want to, uh, I want, uh, now, I just want to uh, thank the Lord for, for waking me up this morning and for putting me in my right mind. Yeah, I thank the Lord for continue blessing me to for making to the age of 37 and you know I, I really do thank the Lord for you know for continue on working with me in, in in my personal spaces and so you know I do thank the Lord for 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 continuing and motivating me um, um uh, uh, for pushing me to do you know what what is right and and you know, I just thank thank the Lord for for my health, for my strength. Right. Testimony. Been dead and gone, but the Lord, you let me live on. I am living testimony. And I thank the Lord, I'm still alive. It's a testimony for Miss Ruthie Jackson. And thank you for keeping her, her health and spirit, keeping her with us daily, blessing her, and strengthening her where she are wicked. You build her up where she torn down. You pressure her upon every leading side. Lord, we are a testimony to how good God been to us for 13 long years, Lord. You have brought us through our trials and tribulations. We still got a long way to go. We thank you for stretching us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, first time you 17. I'm going to read uh, verse 20 to, well, I, I'm going to read verse 20 through 30. And it reads that David rose uh, early the next morning, left the sheep in the care of another, took the provisions and obeyed Jesse's, his father's instructions. David reached the camp just as the army was lining up and shouting his war cries. Both Israelite and the Philistine prepared to fight against each other. So David left the provisions with the person in charge of baggage. He ran to the front lines and shut his way uh, through the soldiers to greet his uh, older brothers. As David talked with them, uh, Goliath, the, 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 the Philistine champion from Gath, emerged again and shouted his challenge to the men of Israel. This time, young David heard his words. For when they saw Goliath, all the Israelites were frightened and retreated from him. Have you seen this man who steps forward? He's trying to taunt Israel. Our king will reward the man who kills him with wealth, a, a royal marriage, and freedom for his entire family from taxation and uh, obligations in Israel. Now, so David was asking those around him by asking what is the reward for removing this insult from Israel by killing this man? No uncircumcised Philistine can get away with 
touching the armies of the living God. For, for the soldier respond back saying that you heard that, that you heard what will be given to the man who kills him. We are just talking about it. Verse 28 reads that David's older brother, uh, Elab, overheard this conversation and became angry with David. So Elab is, is questioning his little brother David by asking, why, why have you come down here? Who is watching your tiny flock in, in the wilderness? I'm your brother, and, and I know you, and you're ignorant, and your heart is evil. You come to watch the battle as if it were just entertainment. So David responded, say, uh, what have I done now? I was just asking a question. Verse 30 says, and David ignored him and asked another soldier the same question. And the people gave him the, the same answer. Where his father Jesse had sent them out with to go, where to go, uh, I want to say, conversate with his uh, 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 older brothers. And so as he's going out to go talk with them, doing what his father asked him to do, his big brother is assuming that the reason why he's out there for is because he's, you know, probably he's trying to be nosy and seeing what he's doing. And, and so, you no, know, he may feel like, you know, yeah, you just like some, you know, horse fly. You, 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 you just keep, you know, following me. Or, 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 or maybe he's, you know, uh, wondering because he asked a question that why haven't you attend your sheep? And, and, and in other words, you know, he, maybe he feel as an older brother that he don't want his younger brother being where he's at, you know, because he don't, doesn't want him to get hurt or you know, he doesn't, you know, want anything bad to happen to him. And so he doesn't want him to look at what he's doing, he, him and his two older brothers. He don't want him to look at them as a... Uh, as I for say, uh, uh, like if like this is a, a a game or some type of fun activity for them to do, you know. So you know, so they're in in, in the army, and you know, they, they, this is a real battle, and so he don't want his his I say little brother inside the you know way of of being in danger here. But from David' point of view. David feel as if that he's you no know, just trying to learn, just trying to grow, and he's trying to do something better. But then have have you ever felt like when you try to do something better, you got people who's looking at it from a negative point of view? You know, like they feel like, you know, uh like they feel like, like you're doing too much or they feel like, you know, why are you doing this? You know, it was fine. You was, you know, what you was doing, you know, uh, uh, earlier before, you know, and then there are people who, who I, I want to say may not want you to grow because they feel comfortable with you being where you are. And, and but however, when change comes, you know, then, then the, the, the changes, yeah, you need to grow, you need to go out, and explore and do new things and this is going to unease some folks mm -hmm. yeah and so you got to be okay with going out and understanding that yeah there's some family members some friends or or whatever right. yeah who's yeah. going to be uneasy about us moving into something new right. secondly what's also what's not understood in the scripture is that the scripture never said that David was leaving his sheep. You know, he 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 was still doing, you know, taking care of his sheep, but he was just wanting to come out here to where his older brothers know so he could learn something new. So maybe he may want to 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 do two jobs. And so, you know, no, there there, there there's nothing wrong with Addy. I would just say more to to your plate if that's what makes you happy, and so 
so with this situation here, you know, uh, uh, let's not let let's not hold people back from from doing you know what the Lord have called them to do. You know, if you see someone else movie going and you feel like it's bigger than them, then just pray for them, or just ask them, hey, you know, is there any way that that I, I can be a assistance or a help to you, or to make this easier on you? And so, so sometimes we all need that. Thing as to where we need someone who can uh, make things easier for us. And so, you know, within this part here, you know, I hope that you have received a, 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 a word from God. So the sevenfold blessings is, uh, yeah, I speak blessings of health for you and, and your family. Uh, so number two, I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life. Number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person hurting, lonely, bereaved, or confused. Number six, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellations, prosperity, uh, uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotions in, in your life to complete your assignment, to move forward in your purpose. Yeah, and now we're going to have the the uh benediction speech yeah yes uh and if you want to read along you could find it in numbers uh chapter 6 verse 24 25 and 26 and it reads uh may god bless you may god keep you may god smile on you may god gift you May God look you full in the face and may you prosper.